Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Alice, for those who don't know, I'm a third year medical student. And I have a few minutes before I have to go to clinic. And I just wanted to come on here and chat with you guys. I want to talk about anxiety. <laughs> um, specifically like test anxiety. So I don't have um, generalized anxiety. I don't have like a psychiatrist treating me for generalized anxiety, but I do have test anxiety and some anxiety about like other things like driving. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, let's see where I can start. Um, I didn't really have test anxiety too much in high school. Um, I was a pretty, I was a pretty good student. Got like mostly like A's and B's um, then going into uh, let's go let's go to the SAT God, I never thought I'd have to really talk about it again but I'm trying to like talk about all the big exams so for the SAT I was more confident than I should have been for the SAT but like the day of the actual SAT I can vaguely remember being very stressed out and having no idea what was going on okay fine <laughs> somehow made it out <laughs> we went to college <laughs> um in college my i didn't have really bad test anxiety but like i would get pretty anxious before an exam so it's fine i feel like i had like decent control over that like i got nervous but i still ended up doing well in most of my classes now let's talk about the mcat Okay, so I um, worked a full-time job while studying for the MCAT. <laughs> I would not recommend doing that, but I understand like if you're like me, I had to start paying my loans, so I had to work. So I think that caused a lot of anxiety. Like I knew like I had to basically study on the train to work, study on the train back home, and then study at home. So fine like I did decent on the MCAT um, if you guys want me to like talk specifically about the MCAT leave a comment below and I'll just make a video about like studying for the MCAT especially because I did it while working full-time so if I can do it you can do it day of the MCAT exam I drove myself there was very very nervous like this is you know it's a big deal it's the test you're taking to get into medical school that is huge um, during the exam like I remember being like super anxious like oh my god like my heart was pounding I I, I think I was sweating like it was really bad like <laughs> and I remember when it was over I was like oh my god like I don't know what just happened like I I didn't I don't remember thinking I failed I just remember being like that was really hard I literally drove from the test center to the Chinese store <laughs> closest to the house I got something went home and I ate in bed and watched Netflix all right that can be a whole video in itself. Let's talk about medical school and how I'm dealing with my anxiety and my test anxiety in medical school. So the first two years of medical school were really tough for me. Like, I was struggling. Like, I was struggling. Like, any time I got, like, I passed an exam was just, like, a miracle. Like... <laughs> But then I had some exams that I used to, like, I would do really, really well on. And I'd be like, what? Like, I, like I'm like i amazing. Like, this is great. But before exams, like, I would always get very, very nervous, like, and super, super anxious. Like, I can't sleep before exams. Like, even if I'm exhausted, sometimes I cannot go to sleep. And it affects you when you're taking the exam. Like, you, you start getting drowsy and that messes you up already um so yeah i i 
feel like I have so much to tell you guys, but I don't have that much time to talk because I have to go to clinic. Um, let's talk. All right, I'm going to I'm going to fast forward here and go to step because I feel like that was really the highest uh, the highest of anxiety that I've ever experienced. Like my anxiety was so bad during dedicated that I sometimes could not get out of bed. Like lead in paralysis. I could not move. I was I would be up I'd be like, all right, I need to get up and study. I have two blocks to do and all this first aid to read and I could not move. And like, I knew like something wasn't right. Like this is not good. <laughs> um, so I sought help way too late. And basically this is why I'm making this video. Like if you have anxiety, specifically test anxiety, reach out to like whatever center at your school handles that because I I was like deep into dedicated before I talked to anyone about the fact that I literally could not move out of my bed to study. So on test day, I, you know, for me, it's like what helps me with my test anxiety is prayer, like trying to stay healthy throughout, like um, exercising, I am a stress eater, so unfortunately sometimes that, that can go either way. That can help or just make you feel like crap. Um, and some advice I got like from a friend when I was taking step, step was to like put some like essential oil or something, a lotion that you really like and like put it on, I put it on my wrist and I was like sn literally sniffing my wrist th during the exam and like that really helped and like taking deep breaths like when I felt myself getting like super super anxious I would take deep breaths and just like okay like do what you can, focus on this question right now and do what you can to answer this question and I think that really helps too, well it helps me so I'm just telling you guys what helps me and maybe one of these things will help but the, the lotion or essential oil on the wrist that got me through step one like um what else can I say um so I was offered got into a conversation with a doctor at school about like taking medication for it and I didn't I just wasn't <clears throat> ready to like get to that point to take medication like I really just want to work on like controlling the anxiety in other ways like breathing exercises like I said and I haven't gotten to that point yet I was taking melatonin to help me sleep um, leading up to my step one exam and I kind of do that now leading up to um, my shelf exams so I didn't do that for my last exam and I think I should have I didn't sleep I couldn't sleep before my last shelf exam because I was so anxious and I should have took melatonin probably earlier than I did but basically I'm making this video because I'm like I can't be the only one I, <laughs> I thought like at this point third year medical school I'm 26 years old that I would have like better control of it but I don't and I'm just realizing that it's something I'm gonna have to work on for a long time maybe up until like I'm in attending so um, if you deal with test anxiety you're not alone I want you to make sure you seek help from someone okay like don't wait until the last minute you can you can figure out ways to make it a better process for you so that you can do well in your exams and you can really show you know what you've got and I feel like sometimes I can't do that because of my test anxiety so I hope that me just making this quick video can just like push some of you who are struggling like even high school high schoolers that are watching this pre-meds medical students even if you're a fourth year medical student and if you still struggle with test anxiety you can still get help and you can do better and be better okay <laughs> i hope this video was some somewhat helpful i have to head out to clinic now 
But if you guys have any questions or if you even have any tips for me on controlling my test anxiety, um, leave, in the, leave it in the comments below. And hopefully I can continue to share that information with, any, with everyone that watches these videos. Um, also on Instagram I can share with everyone. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Bye.